Hello tubers, here we have the I-700 cranking out at the young fellas camp. We got a bit of an oddball wind here today, we got some rain and snow, a little splash of bad weather. The I-700 is producing roughly rate at wind speed, so 20 kilometer winds coming from the south with 30 kilometer gusts. That's amps. I just watched this hit 15 amps in this lower wind with them longer blades. So I'm thinking we got the Estabreeze I-2000 en route and it is a five blade hub. I'm thinking I'm going to swap that five blade hub out for a trial on the I-700. Just a thought but I'm thinking it come with the Estabreeze I-2000 sponsored turbine with 90 centimeter blades but there's five of them. So it's just a guess. Will that produce more and low winds? Well that makes just for another question. But I think it's going to be an ideal way to test this on further with the I-700 with the five blade theory because it is a five blade 90 centimeter blade with a five blade hub so I'm, I'm thinking that I might take the three blades off of that that are 107 centimeters and swap them out with the I-2000. Just a thought at this point but I think the five blades on that would be uh, a better fit because for the 90 centimeter for the smaller turbine it's definitely going to collect on the higher winds. So what did we create over two days? 3.05 kilowatt hours on that little turbine it has created 3.05 kilowatt hours in roughly two days. So that's pretty good for what it has. Question is can it do better? Well, I think we're about to find out, so further testing will give us those results. And when the five blade I-2000 turbine shows up, I think we'll do a test on that with the five blades on the 90 centimeters and just see what we can harvest in the low wind. So again, that's the three kilowatt hours. Back to the amps again. And that's pretty impressive for low wind, meaning 20 kilometers, because that's only rate of wind for these turbines, but with 30 kilometer gusts, and they've seen this hit over 10 amps. Just watching it, it's been spinning up and down like this all day, it didn't stop. So it's definitely in a better location, that's for sure. I think I'll cut down a few more of the trees and make it a little more advantageous. But there's a power line behind us, or forward, to the northern side, and once that couple of those trees are dropped then I'll be wide open to the east and the west on the higher end of the property or the higher elevation if you will. So that is a little bit of uh, testing with the I-700 with the longer blades and the Chinese charge controller and I believe the next test is going to be a five blade and we'll give you them results when we have them. As of now we got three kilowatts created from this little turbine in two days. That's 1.5 kilowatt hours a day. That is very impressive with a relocation of it. So I definitely see the height is uh, a huge advantage, but we'll test on. I believe the possibility to get more does exist with the five blade turbine, but I got a feeling we're going to find out. The I-700 on the flying on the camp. Next, next time we test on.